Today we will discuss about how to organize project browser in Revit. First, I welcome all my friends on my educational channel. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get new videos. Like and share also. You can organize views, sheets and schedules or quantities in the project browser to meet your needs in a project. This approach is useful when the project includes many views, sheets and schedules or quantities. And you want the project browser to list a subset. That is, you can see your desired views, sheets and schedules. To understand this system, we use the Revit basic sample project. The first row in the project browser is browser organization by right clicking on it which I discuss in details later. The second row is search in project browser in which you can search for it by giving a name. For example, we write kitchen in the search bar and search for the view called kitchen in the project browser from the next button. The view name kitchen is highlighted in the project browser. If there is another view with the same name, keep pressing the next button until you reach your desired view. Press the previous button to return to previous view. If the view name given in the search bar does not exist in the project browser, then the next and previous buttons will not be available. For example, we write a name that is not in the project browser. Now the next and previous buttons are no longer available. Close button closes the search bar. After that, all the views, legend, schedules, sheets, etc. will be maximum open in the project browser with the expand all button and with the collapse all will minimize all information in the project browser. If the expand selected button is pressed on a folder, then only that folder will be expanded. Similarly, the collapse selected button is used to minimize only that folder. Now let's talk about the browser organization in the first row. Browser organization has three categories, views, sheets and schedules which you can organize. All views in the views all group will be included in the project browser and the views added in the discipline group will be visible only. With the remaining checkboxes, you can display selection of views from the project browser. For example, only that views will appear in the project browser by selecting not on sheets group, which are not add in sheets. We do an exercise. Create a new sheet and add the views in the sheet. The views was add in the sheets will disappear from the project browser. Similarly, we can organize the sheets and schedules. Only the groups whose checkboxes are selected will be visible in the project browser. Apart from these existing groups, you can also create any group of your choice. You need a parameter to create this group. Let's see how it works. You must select the project parameters tool in the settings panel 
of manage tab and add a new parameter give the parameter name as project views select the type of parameter text in discipline common assign the group parameter under identity data this will add your parameter to the identity data section of the properties palette since you want to add this parameter to views so select the view category project views parameter has been added to the identity data section now you must select the views that you want to add to this view group after selecting views type interior next to the project views parameter and apply it now access browser organization again i show you one more way to access browser organization you must drop down the menu of user interface in the view tab and access the browser organization press the new button to create a new group of views and name the views organization we don't use any filter and select the project views parameter in the grouping and sorting select the views organization in the views section the views that we added in interior are visible in our project browser similarly also practice adding these views in the exterior duplicate the views first now select these duplicated views and add them by giving exterior name in the project views parameter of the identity data section the views are created under the interior and exterior in the project browser similarly if you want to add any view in the interior or exterior then after selecting the view just click interior or exterior in the project views parameter the view will be added in the same category to create a new category name the new category next to the project parameter after selecting the view same as we have created an interior and exterior category before you can give this name as per your project requirements similarly if you are working on a plumbing system you can create water and drainage views power lighting public address systems views in the electrical discipline can be made in this way also now let me tell you how to organize the sheets first you must go to a sheet after that again select the project parameter tool in the settings panel of manage tab and add a new parameter give the parameter name as project sheets select the type of parameter text in discipline common assign the group parameter under identity data this will add your parameter to the identity data section of the properties palette since you want to add this parameter into sheets so select the sheets category project sheets parameter has been added to the identity data section now you must select the sheets that you want to add to this sheet group after selecting sheets write interior next to the project sheets parameter and apply it 
now access browser organization again press the new button to create a new group of sheets and name the sheets organization we don't use any filter and select the properties sheet parameter in the grouping and sorting select the sheets organization in the sheets section the sheets that we added in interior are visible in our project browser similarly to add other sheets in the exterior select the sheets and write exterior in the project sheets parameter of the identity data the sheets are created under the interior and exterior in the project browser in any discipline you can organize system in this way in the same way you can also organize the schedules or quantities today we discuss the browser organization in revit i hope that you understand and like this topic stay tuned for more educational videos bim talks